Hi y'all, it's Miss Rebecca from the Culpeper County Library Youth Services Department. So glad you're here with me today. Today's story time is gonna be about frogs. And frogs are one of those creatures that go through something called metamorphosis. That's a big word, it means they change their form. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the life cycle of a frog first. First, there are eggs. The mama lays the eggs in the water then it goes around to where we have a tadpole that has legs and it has a long tail. This is where it gets its food from for while it's changing. Then down here becomes a froglet. It has four legs, still has a little bit of a tail, and eventually that's going to shrink and shrink and shrink until it is an adult frog. So this is the life cycle of a frog showing how it goes through metamorphosis. Now, let's sing a little song about a tadpole. Little tadpole, little tadpole, lost his tail, lost his tail. Now he has two feet, now he has four feet. Look a frog, look a frog. And our first book today is titled A Frog in the Bog. Hmm, a frog in a bog. What is a bog, you say? Well, a bog is a marshy place that has water, but it also has trees, and it has lots of plants, lots of insects, and lots of amphibians. And in there, it might have trees that have died and that have become logs. So we're gonna see that in our story today. A frog in the bog. There's a frog on the log in the middle of the bog. A small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. There he is, look how small he is on that log. He flicks one tick as it creeps up a stick. One tick in the belly of a small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. So that tick was his lunch. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He sees two fleas as they leap through the reeds. So he sees those, you think he's gonna catch them? One tick, two fleas in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Wow, look at him. He's getting a little bit bigger every time. He spies three flies as they buzz through the skies. Bzzz. One tick, two fleas, three flies in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of a bog. Here they are in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He glugs four slugs as they slink through the sludge. So there are the four. He's getting bigger every time. Will he get bigger now? Let's see. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ooh, ugh, in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Look at his belly now. Wow, he got bigger. He inhales five snails from their heads to their tails. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ooh, ugh, and five slimy snails in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. What a hog, that frog. How big he's getting. He's eating a lot of lunch. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Then, uh-oh, let's look at the pictures. That log with the frog in the middle of the bog starts to rise and the frog sees eyes. Uh-oh, who do those eyes belong to? And the frog sees claws, and a big set of jaws, and a mouth like a crater. And the frog screams, Gator! Uh-oh, 
it's an alligator. What do you think the alligator's gonna try to do? With his mouth wide open, all the bugs inside start to crawl and fly and to slither and slide. Out come five snails from, the, from their heads to their tails. So they're all coming out of the frog now. The five snails were first. Four slugs, ooh, ugh. Three flies, oh my, zzz, zzz. Two fleas, dear me, and one tiny tick, ick. So they all came out. Let's see what happens next. And right in the middle of this holler, that frog grows a whole lot smaller. See you later, says the gator, as he romps through the swamp, cause the itty bitty frog isn't big enough to chomp. He wasn't big enough after all of that. Now, the bugs in the bog keep away from the frog, and the frog never sits on a half sunk log. He learned a lesson, didn't he? And that's the end of A Frog in the Bog. Now we have a little song that you can help me with, okay? You can do the motions with me and then you can practice singing this at home. There was a little frog that lived in a bog who climbed on a lily pad and jumped on a log. It snapped at a mosquito, it snapped at a bee, it snapped at a cricket and it snapped at me. It caught the mosquito. It caught the bee. It caught the mosquito. It caught the cricket, but it didn't catch me. I love that one. So you can practice that one at home and learn it by heart. Our next story today is titled Hop Jump. And it's written by Ellen Stoll Walsh. That's the author's name, person who writes the story. Hop, jump. Here they come, said Betsy. Here's Betsy, and here are her friends. Let's see how many friends she has. One, two, three, four, five. Here they come. And there they go. Hop, jump, hop, jump. It's always the same, she said. Can you hop, jump like they do in the story? Yeah, you could do that now. Betsy watched some, watched some leaves float down, leaping, turning, twisting, always different. Then Betsy tried. She couldn't float. She tried, but it's hard for a frog to float. Not one of the things they do. But soon, she was leaping and turning. Wow, look at her. She's pretending she's a leaf using her imagination and twisting. It's called dancing, she said. Can you do that? Can you twist and turn and dance with Betsy? Yes. But along came the other frogs. Hop, jump, hop, jump. There they are, hop, jump, hop, jump. Betsy's a little bit different. She's still twisting and turning. Let's see what happens. And hop, jump, hop, jump, back they came again. So they're all doing it together. Hey, said Betsy. No room for dancing, said the frogs. So they felt like she was in their way. No room for dancing. Then I'll find my own place, said Betsy, for dancing only. So she's going somewhere private so she can dance. Some of her frog friends got curious. They started watching what she was doing. Others went to see. So they're all joining to see what Betsy's doing. Before long, their feet began to move. Oh, they're trying what Betsy's doing. Soon, all the frogs were dancing. 
they're not shy anymore. They're trying to do the same things that Pepsi, Betsy's doing. All but one. Hey, no room for hopping, said the frogs. So they were all dancing and one was still trying to hop. No room. Oh yes, there's room, said Betsy, for dancing and for hopping. So it's room for everyone to get along. I love that story, hop, jump. Now, until next time, let me sing a little song that you might know from coming to story time at the library. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, until next time, just keep reading.